Perfect. So we did that wrist adjustment. Yeah, the wrist feels really good. I still feel like my back spot a little bit. The very upper part of my right. Okay, in that same spot? Yeah. Cool. So go ahead and come on down. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and bring that chin to your chest. Big breath in. All the way out. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Kia does a lot with her body between gymnastics, aerial acrobatics, climbing, biking, everything else in between. So we're kind of all over the place with the appointment today. Make sure to stay to the end if you want to see some of the acrobatic shot we did for the new intro. All right, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Perfect. What are we working on today? Um, main thing that I've had like a chronic issue with is just this upper back spot, okay. like especially after handstands and okay. like sitting at work all day. And it and feels- And is that primarily on that right side? Or? Always right, oh, yeah. Gotcha. Um, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's Is around it like forever. Constant? It comes and goes, like some days it's worse than others. Um, but primarily it's worsened with doing gymnastics, hands yeah, and type exercise. stuff. And then so the next day mountain it's a little biking, bit sore. Mountain biking, it's horrible. Cause okay. I'm like, so you feel that during yeah. the mountain biking? Okay, cool. And then anything going on the arms, any numbness, tingling? Occasionally. Occasionally. And like this wrist is super tight and I wonder if it's all... It all kind of connected. Okay. And then is it certain fingers in that hand? Okay. Yeah. Um, and then is there anything that you're doing right now that makes you feel better? Um, I try, so my mom's a physical therapist, so I try okay. some like nerve flossing things okay. that she showed me. Um, and then just like wrist mobility, I'm trying to work my posture. <laughs> okay, perfect. So you've kind of hit it from a lot of different angles, it yeah. sounds like, but overall hasn't really gotten better or worse. It just kind of stayed the same kind throughout. Same. Yeah. Okay. And you've had it going on for a few years. Mm -hmm. Okay. No pain with like coughing or sneezing, leaving the restroom, anything like that. Okay. But <laughs> let's just go ahead and start with some ranges of motion. So i um, looking for anything that will recreate that motion. So if you go ahead and bring your chin down to your chest. Any pain, tightness, pinching, all that feels pretty good. Yeah. And then looking up towards the sky. It's fine. Looks fine. And then all the way over the right shoulder. It's tight. Where do you feel that tightness? Mm, kind of like, actually like a little pinch in the spot and okay. this tightness back here. Okay. And then if we look over to the left. Same thing, but opposite. Okay, so you feel, <laughs> okay, so you do feel a pinch on that side. Mm -hmm. Okay. What if we bend that right here to the right shoulder? That's fine. And then left here to the left. Okay. okay, so when we're looking over to one side and we kind of feel that pinch on that side, that typically indicates a joint issue, which will get cleared up with adjustment. So we'll recheck that at the end. When we're looking away from it and we feel it on the opposite side, that's going to be more muscle tissue. So we're going to address both of those. That'll be kind of our main test. I'm going to do a few um, stress tests with you to see if we recreate any of that stuff going on the arms. It is okay if I press on the top of your head. So pushing down right here. No issues with that? No. Okay, and then look over to your left and up slightly. Perfect. Don't want to press down again. It's fine. It's okay. Same thing to the right and up. And, and that feels okay there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then looking straight ahead, I'm going to take the head to the side and press down. It's kind of like tingly. Okay, so that kind of recreates that. When I come off of it, it goes away. Mm -hmm. So if I just hang here. Any worsening? Yeah, it feels like my arm's gonna fall asleep. <laughs> okay, where do you feel that? <laughs> um, do it again. <clears throat> Definitely in the neck, like right here. Okay. And then it kind of like runs down the arm. Okay, do you notice it in any certain digits there? <clears throat> Maybe this one. Okay, nothing in the thumb. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm gonna take it over to the other side here. That feels okay? Yeah. And then I'm going to pull up onto the head like this. Just feels good? Feels great. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So this is kind of checking for deeper stuff when we're doing those compression tests. Um, so it seems like we may have just some muscle involvement into the scalenes when I press in right here. Well, it feels weird. 
worse on this right side than the left. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then when I press in through here. Feels good. Okay. More and not one side versus the other. Mm -hmm. Feels pretty equal. Okay. So this is kind of where our scalenes sit. It's also where our nerves come out of. Um, we call it the brachial plexus comes out of here, and then we have some entrapment sites in here as well. Um, being that it's that middle digit, that could be our radial nerve distribution, but we're going to do a few little releases throughout here and see if we can get that to clear up, and then we're going to recheck those ranges of motion. So, um, Anything else bothering you, mid-back, low-back, just kind of right in that area where you're talking about? While you're in here and it's your first adjustment, we'll just kind of hit everything. Okay. Um, <laughs> just get it all going. So I'm going to actually start with the low back, and then we'll work our way up to the neck and kind okay. of end on all this thing. Let's go face down to start. <laughs> Let's call your mom to PT. Yeah! Except for she lives in North Carolina, so I can't like actually <laughs> use her that much. I'm sure that's an awesome resource though. Yeah. So right now I'm just checking the hips. Um, do you notice anything in the low back when I press here? It just feels tight. Okay. So we have just a little bit off on that left side, which isn't anything crazy. Do you feel more pressure here versus when I press Ooh, here? the right side. The right side, okay. <laughs> And then just pressing into the joints here. No issues with that. Mm -mm. Okay. So I'm just going to start with some decompression. So the table's going to come down like that, and I'm just going to put some pressure upwards. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it feels pretty nice after all that traveling too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doing okay with all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Richard, on the uh, if we're doing like adjustments, just kind of come in super close. Okay. Yeah, whatever, but, um, cool. I feel a few spots through here. Awesome. Can you face me on this side here? Just come all the way there. I'm gonna put your head right there. Perfect. We're gonna bend this like here, and I'm just gonna choose this way. So we're gonna do an SI joint adjustment. So. It's just gonna be a little push and pressure right here, and we may hear some popping sounds with that. That's just little gases being released. Okay. To smile. <laughs> and you feel comfortable in this position? Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little drop here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that feels okay? It feels amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and flip on it over that way. <laughs> the best reaction. <laughs> Okay, that bottom leg out straight. Uh, yeah, perfect. And then I'm going to switch you this way. And we're going to rotate. So this is going to be the same thing, just feeling it up a little bit higher. Good. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff in there. That's great. <laughs> Good. And I'm going to have you kind of center this way. Perfect. I'm going to take both the hands here. And can you bring your chin to your chest? Big breath in. Let that all the way out. Good. Awesome. That felt okay. <laughs> and we're going to do one more, a little bit higher up, kind of into that point that you were pointing to earlier. So go ahead and bring that chin to your chest. Big breath in. All the way out. Doing okay? Yeah. That's a big one. Great. Okay. All right. Cool. So now we're going to look at those pinch points. So when you're rotating right and left, you kind of felt that going into here. So I'm just going to feel into the muscles to start. Do you get headaches at all? Not really. Okay. Yeah, that right side feels tighter. Yeah, when you kind of have this whole strip. Does that recreate anything back behind the eyeballs? Mm. No. I don't think so. Okay. I'm going to hang here for a little bit. Are you Ooh, doing okay yeah. with that? I'll take some big back breaths through there. And do you always kind of notice this tension here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you some little exercises and things that you can do after Sweet. our visit to make sure everything stays a little bit longer.
do no count pressure, it's not too much. It's good. With the pops here, it might be a little bit louder just because your ears are right there, but it's kind of <laughs> same concept. <laughs> we just have kind of those little gases being released from the joint. So do you feel that tension spot there? Uh -huh. And do a little push through there. So nice and relaxed, just kind of fall here. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh my God, I never had that before. <laughs> <laughs> cool so we're gonna do the same thing on this side it's kind of you have it on both sides this right side obviously is a little bit more tension so. yeah and same deal just kind of falling into this hand right here great <laughs> Whoa. all right Right, so I'm gonna run through the rest of our extremities. We're gonna recheck that to see if that pinch point's still there. And then we're gonna do, we still have a lot of this tension through here. So we're gonna do some muscle releases here and into scalenes. And then we're gonna recheck and see if that stuff has a little bit less tension through here. Cool. So, and you said your left wrist, is that jammed just because of handstand stuff? Probably, I okay. don't know. Um, where do you feel the pain usually? Right here, when I'm in a handstand. And it just has like way less mobility. Okay, and did you notice that today? Always. So. Yeah. Always, okay. So we can put, do you feel that kind of gapping right mm -hmm. here? Yeah, if you want to come in super close. So we can do little adjustments that will hold. So I'm gonna do a little push right here. Okay. That's kind of your spot that's jammed. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a little. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna have you recheck on a handstand after this. I wanna see if that cool. you noted any changes with that. And I'm gonna kinda do some rehab stuff with you there as well. Okay. We'll push here. <laughs> now I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, any knee injuries here? Nope. Okay. Alright, and the same thing over here. And no issues on this left wrist? Mm -mm. So crunchy. Yeah, so that's <laughs> what I wanted to happen on this side. It's yeah. just a little bit more jammed up. Um, so we'll try some things there. Let's go ahead and have you sit up and we'll face this way. So let's recheck just those neck ranges. So if you look over to your right shoulder, what I'm looking for is that pinch to be gone, but if it's there, let me know. No, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and looking all the way to your left. Yeah, it feels great. Okay. And are we still having kind of that stretching feeling though? Just a little tightness, but. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do a little release here. And you're going to kind of work with me here. I'm going to have you take your left ear to the left shoulder. Good. And then keeping that bent to the side, go ahead and look over that shoulder. And tilt the chin up about an inch. Perfect. And then a few big breaths. And then are we kind of feeling so it? So tight. Okay. <laughs> Any recreation down the, or the arm? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and come on back. Same thing. Left ear to left shoulder. Good. And then keeping it bent, go ahead and look over that shoulder. And a few big breaths. Are you feeling that open to the ear at all? Yeah. Okay. So with just that, and it's okay if that recreation is still there, I want to recheck. So we had your head here, and when I press down. Feels better. Still there though? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and go onto your back. So 
So I'm gonna go straight into the scalenes, which is that muscle I was telling you about, um, where we have that entrapment site that's pretty common. Mm -hmm. And so, actually, did I go wrong? And so go ahead. I'm gonna have you look all the way over your left shoulder. Nice and slow. Yeah. And then just keep taking some big breaths up through the chest. Perfect. I'm gonna drop that down. Let's come on back. And all the way over to your left. Nice and slow. Any recreations through here? No. Nope. As we kind of went there on the third time, is that a little bit yeah. easier? Yeah. Okay. Good. And I'm gonna check some shoulder motion over here. So you also have no shoulder internal rotation. That's <laughs> really tight. I wouldn't expect that at all. Have you noticed this before? I don't think so. I was just kind of expecting from like all your gymnastics works yeah. for us not to have that. So typically we want to see about 180 degrees between our external. So you have really, really good external rotation. But yeah. when we come here, if we block out the scapula, there's That's like so maybe 30 degrees. We yeah. want to have at least that 90, but see how we're stealing it from mm -hmm. there. Your whole, and even when we're stealing it from here, we're not getting that full motion. Mm -hmm. So if we don't have as much mobility in the shoulder, which is designed for a ton of mobility, then we're going to start stealing it from scapula and neck and everything kind of in between. When that stuff gets too tight because they're not really designed for a ton yeah. of motion, then that's where we're going to have those entrapment sites squeezing onto the nerves and kind of coming back down. Let me check your left side. Um, I didn't initially check that just because <laughs> I was just yeah, that's watching like your really bad. <laughs> And so we're kind of same thing on this side, but do you see how it's, it's still way worse yeah. on the other side? You at least have full 90 when you're stealing it from here. So mm -hmm. cool, we have a correlation. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and we'll sit up facing this way. So looking right and left one more time. Any difference as far as? Feels good. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's kind of where we're feeling that stretch over there. Mm -hmm. um, let's recheck. I have our main test here, so when I press down. A lot better. Okay, cool. So let's keep it with that. I don't want to throw a thousand factors at you today. Let's mm -hmm. do a little shoulder adjustment here. So we're going to do a little push. Good. A little tiny guy. <laughs> right. Um, cool. So. <clears throat> Let's say today you came in and you could only look this far, and now we can look this far before we hit that pinch. That's an exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't do anything for a few weeks, we slowly start to kind of come back to mm -hmm. that spot. But if we start to kind of move and squeeze into that range that we've opened up in here, then that starts to become more of a permanent effect for us. So that's kind of my goal. Um, I'm gonna have you just look over that right shoulder when you get to that stopping point, I want you to squeeze past that. So count to about five seconds and each second, I want you to squeeze another millimeter of motion until we feel almost kind of that cramping sensation in there. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then switching over to the other side. When you get to that spot, no pain with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just going to keep it super, super basic with that. And that's going to be kind of your twice a day, three times in each direction. If mm -hmm. You can do more better, um, but that way we hold everything that we did in here. Well, that felt pretty good. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> the neck is crazy. All right. So I really like this exercise for what we kind of have going on, and I use it with a lot of my patients. But the reason why we're on our side is because we're blocking out the scapula from any type of motion. Mm -hmm. So we're not stealing it from anything through here, which is kind of where we're noticing those compensations. So we're gonna take 
the arm down. And do you notice any pinching or tightness or sharp stuff in the back? Okay. So this is our capsule being stretched. So it's not any certain muscle. Mm -hmm. And because it's capsular tissue, we're not really trying to force through anything or drive through anything. We're looking at kind of like millimeters per week of change. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna be using this hand to kind of hang out there. And, and push? Yeah, just pushing down and kind of finding that comfortable range. Um, we can start up at this 90 and we can play with all these different ranges. See how mm -hmm. it gets a little bit easier. So our eventual goal is for this wrist to be hitting the floor. Wow. <laughs> so that's kind of what you're lacking. And because you're lacking these degrees, it's all getting taken up by mm -hmm. your scapula, which isn't really designed for that. Mm -hmm. So um, let's just start with kind of stretches for now. And then we can kind of do the active portion down the road. Let's get you in a handstand and see if that hurts your wrist. Do you want me to spot you or anything? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll make sure you get the good ones on film. <laughs> Perfect. So we did that wrist adjustment. Yeah, the wrist feels really good. I still feel like my back spot a little bit, but sometimes that feels pinchy in the handstand. Your back bothered, is bothered yeah, a little bit? Yeah, just like the very upper part of my right Okay, in that sometimes. same spot? Yeah. Cool. So go ahead and come on down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and sit facing this way. <laughs> this is definitely a really fun appointment. <laughs> And we can get hands down in a short or tiny little room. <laughs> um, have you ever had scraping before? No. Nope. Okay, so just so that we don't miss anything, I'm going to hit this whole line of muscle that was overactive and yeah. see if we can give that a nice little reset. So I'm going to have you take your chin down to your chest. Good. And take the chin over to the left, or the left ear to the left shoulder, actually. Yep, perfect. And doing okay with that? Yeah. So this just acts as a nice little reset for the muscles, I think of it as a massage on steroids. It gives us that reset really quickly. Can you go ahead and relax the neck and then I'm gonna have you take the right arm back behind you. Look perfect. And doing okay there. Mm -hmm. And does that back pain ever come down this low? Yeah. It does, okay. Cool, so let's go ahead. With just that, I don't want to throw too many factors into it. Let's recheck that handstand. Okay. <laughs> It's okay if it does feel the same. That's no, it feels good thing. actually. Okay. Like it was more pinchy before. Okay. Yeah. And we did a lot of motion. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no, it feels really good. Sweet. Ooh, there's, there's a crack in there. We got it loosen. The yes. pickle jar is open. <laughs> can I see that again? You yeah. take a seat right here. And I want to see if we can get that. So go ahead and shrug that right shoulder up. Okay. One more. I know it's not the most comfortable. It's fine. Okay. Sweet. Feels um, a lot looser. Yeah, if you roll that around, does that feel yeah. just way more open? Mm -hmm. So I really like getting the adjustments and everything passive in here and then actually doing your workouts and the things that, mm -hmm. you're, that are bothering it because it reinforces that range that we've just opened up so it becomes more permanent. Cool. So cool.